I am talking today with Mike Winder. He is an author of 14 different books. A lot of them are historical in nature. One of his most well-known titles is Presidents and Prophets, and it highlights the connections between presidents of the U.S. with Latter-day Saint church leaders, leaders with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, he has a new book out. It's called Hidden in Hollywood, uh, The Gospel Found in a Thousand and One Movie Quotes. Thanks, Mike, for holding that up. <laughs> I had to chat with him about that book today. Hi, Mike. Hey, good to be with you. I was telling you, I just dropped off my daughter for her first day at Driver's Ed, and I'm here in my car in front of the A-plus driving school, thrilled to be talking to my friends in Idaho about my latest book. So hard in the casual office today, but that I don't think we'll mind, especially talking about a fun topic like movies and the gospel, right? Yeah, of course. I want to start off, first of all, uh, your wife has a connection to Eastern Idaho. Didn't she go to Rick's College back in the day? She does. I married a Viking. I, I, Karen is a graduate of Rick's College and then on to the University of Utah, or about the, when I met her was when she was at the U. Um, I had sisters and cousins go up there, so I'd go up and visit Rexburg all the time in my high school and college days. I remember as a high school boy at a dance at Rick's with my older cousins and I was dancing with a college girl and she goes, oh, what's your major? And I was just in high school, but I liked politics. I said political science. So yeah, I, I've had a lot of good memories from Eastern Idaho. Very cool. Do you So do you make it back to Eastern Idaho very often? Oh, from time to time. Uh, we drove to Yellowstone a few years back over fall break with the kids and had fun uh, stopping there and and i can't believe that beautiful tech temple in rexburg and of course the view of the tetons from the idaho side is the best and lovely beautiful area a lot of good people there as well well so this book um i was reading the introduction and you know little snippets of it here and there it's so if i could explain what it is so you're, you've collected thousands of different quotes from movies over the years and you've kind of tied them all together in a book with different themes. You have some kind of insightful commentary that introduces each chapter. Right. And then you kind of list the quotes. And so there's kind of a theme, themed arc of the book throughout. Tell me, what was the inspiration for this? Like, why did you want to do a book about movie quotes? So I always like, this has been a Sunday afternoon hobby for years is doing books on movie quotes. Although they are not movie quotes, but just eat writing, right? Um, and movie quotes are always fun because they're little snippets of inspiration, but they sometimes don't mean to be, and sometimes they do mean to be. And putting them in a gospel context is just a fun way uh, to look at it. Uh, a few years back, Utah Valley 360 blog had a fun little game called Dieter or Dumbledore. And they would list a quote, and you had to guess if it was from President Dieter F. Uchtdorf or Albus Dumbledore, the Hogwarts uh, headmaster. And it was funny because it's kind of a tricky game because both are wise and and uh, ha have some good things to say. But it made me think, you know, there are a lot of little nuggets in in uh, movies that can apply to the gospel. And, and what was really fun is my daughter, Grace Winder, who's doing her driver's ed right now, 15 years old, almost 16, she wanted to be my research assistant. And so we had a, a Google spreadsheet where we found not only over a thousand movie quotes, but also would come through uh, LDS.org archives and find uh, general authority quotes or scriptures that matched with those. And so that was kind of the, the skeleton that we then drew the book from. And so it's kind of a fun process to see how many movie quotes line up with general conference quotes, to be honest. And so if you're a fan of movies, there's quotes from just about every movie that's out there some of them are you know the really popular ones that you hear about all the time and others might be a little more obscure but there's i was su surprised with how many are in there Is well there doug wright wrote the foreword and of course many of you know doug wright from the ksl movie show for years and, and he was good to point out that that variety we have i mean we have old westerns and movies from the 30s and 40s and 50s but obviously most of it's more your last uh couple decades but a lot of classic movies, and what's fun is I find myself when you get reading the book now that it's out, uh, some movies you've never heard of, and you're like, oh, maybe I should go see that one, and others, they trigger a memory in your mind that, hey, I remember that hearing that quote from Princess Bride for the first time, for example. Right. So do you have a favorite, um, you know, as you've watched all these movies over the years, is there one movie that you consider one of the most quotable you've ever watched? Well, it's interesting, because I did an index 
at the end of index of movies quoted. And it was interesting to see the one we ended up quoting the most was Tom Hanks, uh, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood that came out in 2019, the Mr. Rogers movie. Yeah. And Mr. Rogers is just full of good wisdom and quotable. And of course, Tom Hanks always delivers good lines. So that one had a lot. Uh, Disney's Pocahontas actually had a lot, which I thought was interesting. And uh, Prince of Egypt had some good ones. The Star Wars ones, the Harry Potters all have good ones. Uh, even Marvel movies, there's some good nuggets of inspiration there. So yeah, you never know where you find a good little little piece of wisdom there. What movie has been your your favorite that you've that you've used as a resource for this? Um, you know, I'm I'm a big Star Wars nerd, of course, Gen X, growing up in the '80s, and and what I found is there's whenever you get a Yoda or an Obi Wan Kenobi or a Qui Gon Jinn, they have good wisdom, right? So if it's Gandalf, if it's Dumbledore, if it's uh, Kung Fu Panda, you know, whenever you, Mr. Miyagi, whenever you have kind of that wise sage, you get really good quotes that are uh, really quite inspiring. Was there one movie that you were surprised at, like the the wisdom that you found from it? Yeah, you know, even, even um, silly shows like uh, Bruce Almighty, th- those obviously did, Chariots of Fire. But even ones like Elf or Meet the Parents or there's just ones that you wouldn't even expect, right? Um, Fast of the Furious has quotes about prayer that you wouldn't have expected. And, uh, you know, the movie Soul that Disney Pixar recently did, that he talks about the pre-existence, right? It's easy to get turned around. This isn't the great beyond, it's the great before. And you forget there's a popular movie about the pre-existence out there. So yeah, you can this book is out now, right? This is out now. It's it's available in my publisher's eborn books. And you can get it from their website. It's also on Amazon. That's the easiest. And as well as eBay. And then it's also starting to show up in LDS bookstores around the Mountain West. So okay. really, really a good one for Christmas. We're gonna play a game here. So, oh so, great. so rep uh I'm going to give you a choice. You tell me a topic and I'll tell you a good quote. So uh, lessons on life, death and beyond, or leaps of faith. Those are the first three chapters. Lessons on life, death and beyond. What was the other? Leaps of faith. Those are the first three chapters. Hmm. Let's try leaps of faith. Leaps of faith. By the way, this book, each chapter, and there's 19 chapters, uh, I illustrated them with being AI. Um, I had started to do some really fun pictures in Photoshop of of merging famous uh, LDS images and famous movie images. Like I had a Captain America, Captain Moroni mashup. But my publisher got a little nervous about being sued by Disney or others. So uh, to get around and not worry about copyright, I did these all as AI generated. So like the chapter on leaps of faith. Oh, wow. Okay. All AI generated yeah. images. That's cool. All AI generated images, or the chapter on the father and the son. Okay. You know, there's just there's just really some good ones there. Okay, so back to our game. Oh, truth, honesty, and integrity. You can't have Disney's Pinocchio. That's a lawsuit waiting waiting to happen. But you can <laughs> right. have a generic Pinocchio. Right. Okay, so there's some good quotes in Pirates of the Caribbean. We have. Uh, Karina Barbosa saying, just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's not there. Um, Mr. On developing faith, Mr. Miyagi says, inside you have strong root. No need nothing except what inside you to grow. And of course, that ties in a lot with what Alma says about seeds inside you grow. Um, when you have the faith to accomplish good works, you remember Robin Williams as Teddy Roosevelt in Night at the Museum. Anything's possible, Lawrence. If it can be dreamed, it can be done. And uh, I love Val Kilmer as Moses in Prince of Egypt. Pharaoh has the power. He can take away your food, your home, your freedom. He t- can take away your sons and daughters. With one word, Pharaoh can take away your lives. But there's one thing he cannot take away from you, your faith. Believe, for we shall see God, God's wonders. So a lot of fun ones on leaps of faith in there. And of course, a nice allusion to Indiana Jones making that leap of faith in Last Crusade. Yeah. Okay, do you want a movie quote on uh, the father and the son? 
Yes. Prayer, inspiration, divine nature, or hope, change, and miracles? Pick oh, a chapter. Yeah, you're giving me options here. Okay. So, Father and the Son, prayer, inspiration, divine nature, or hope, change, and miracles? What do you want? How about hope, change, and miracles? All right. Hope, change, and miracles. Here we go. By the way, I like the cover of this one, this chapter. That was a good AI generated one, wasn't it? Oh, very cool. Yeah. My my trick is AI still struggles with details, right? Hands, facial features. And so knowing it'd be a black and white book anyway, I would say in the style of Disney, draw a silhouette of dot, dot, dot. And then the AI would give you four or five options and you pick one that works and it's kind of fun. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so hope, change and miracle. The power of hope. Do you remember uh, President Snow in the Hunger Games? Hope, it is the only thing stronger than fear. Okay. Or um, you saw in the, back in the Never Ending Story, a callback, people have begun to lose their hopes and forget their dreams. It's the emptiness that's left. It's like a despair destroying this world. So we got to have our hope. Um, Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. Eddie Redmayne is Stephen Hawking. There should be no boundaries to human endeavor. We are all different. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. When there's life, there is hope. So each chapter has kind of a little blurb of, you know, the power of hope. And there's uh, some stuff from general conference or scriptures. And then a few, you know, a dozen or so movie quotes about that. And then a few more bits of gospel on a topic and then movie quotes. So it's very easy to read. It's a bathroom book on the one hand, because you can pick it up and read anywhere like we're doing with our little game. Or it is actually quite inspiring to read it cover to cover. Yeah. Okay, how's your time? You want to do one more? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Do you want uh, choice and accountability? The chapter on family, friends, and neighbors, or kindness and service? Um, how about friends and neighbors? Friends and neighbors. All right. So on, on neighbors and friendship, you get quotes, you get C-3PO in, in, in The Rise of Skywalker that says, in the event I don't make it back, I want you to know you've been a real friend, R2, my best one, in fact, which, you know, some of these are, I threw in her stretch, but they're fun. Yeah. Or, uh, Sean Astin as Samwise Gamgee in The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Come on, Mr. Frodo, I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Or, uh, Peter Quill, Chris Pratt is Peter Quill and Thor, Love and Thunder. Remember what I told you. Do you ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. Um, how the Grinch Stole Christmas. Cindy Lou Who talks about inclusion and neighborliness. No matter how different a who may appear, he will always be welcomed with holiday cheer. Or Jasmine in Aladdin. Sometimes we only see how people are different. But if we look hard enough, you can see how much we're all alike. So a lot of a lot of good little quotes in there on on neighborliness. That's great. So I want to take I'll put a link of where people can buy that in oh. in an article that's below this video. Uh, Hidden in Hollywood is what it's called. This book is a fun one because it's paperback. It's a little smaller than a normal book. And what you can do is it's a, just such a great gift book. We all know people in our lives that are hard to buy for it, but they love movies and you could buy, you could get this book, throw some movie passes with it, or a, or a popcorn, and it becomes a cute neighbor gift, or, or a gift to take to that white elephant party, or whatever. And but it's really kind of an, an easy giftable book that can appeal to a lot of people. So, uh, Merry Christmas to you and your listeners, and and uh, glad we could talk hidden in Hollywood today. 